at first Genesis 38 seems out of place. In Genesis 37, we begin to see the story of Joseph unfolding as Joseph moves from slavery ultimately to be the second in command of Egypt. But right in the middle of that story, right at the beginning of that story, all of a sudden you have Genesis 38 that, was, that, that focuses on Judah, this despicable guy. Why? I believe it answers the question, what kind of character does a person have to have to sell his brother into slavery? However, however it also answers the question, can God change hearts? Later on, we will see that Judah is redeemed. His heart is changed. Later on, when Joseph is second in command of Egypt, and it is threatened that the little brother, Benjamin, will be kept in prison, Judah is the one who steps forward and says, no, sir, I can't do this to my father. Take my life instead. Judah becomes a type, an antitype, actually, of Jesus, who would later be a descendant of Judah, who will step forward and say on the cross, take my life instead. Genesis 38, interesting little chapter. By the way, it also tells us the soap opera of the story of the family of Jesus. It is through an incestuous relationship that we see in Genesis 38 that eventually the Messiah will come. Genesis 38.